look at using the MAKE 10 strategy. This is a strategy that's introduced as early as first grade, and we're gonna to look today at how to use this strategy when adding larger numbers. We're gonna start with a two digit plus a two digit. We have 78 plus 23. So when we look at our numbers, the, the children are to think, I want to get to a multiple of 10. Adding multiples of 10s or having a multiple of 10 to add makes for an easier problem. So I have 78 plus 23. I think, oh, 78 is only two away from 80. So what we do is we take our 23 and we're gonna show that it can be de decomposed into two and 21. Two plus 21 is the same as 23. But now I can take and use the two to make an easier problem for me to mentally think about. 78 plus two, I know is 80. So now I've used two of the 23. I'm gonna add 80 plus 21. Here, some students may want to decompose the 21 into 20 and one, because they know 80 plus 20 is equal to 100. So now I've used 20 from the 23, and I have just one more, and that's 100 plus one is 101. So now I've used all of my 23, and I know that 78 plus 23 is equal to 101. Now we're going to look at a, another problem. This problem is a three digit plus a three digit, and we can still use this make 10 strategy. We're looking for multiples of 10, and then also look for multiples of 100 as well. So now we have 257 plus 175. So students think 257 is only three away from 260, which will be a nice multiple of 10. So they will show that they can decompose their 175 to have a three, and they know that three and 172 is the same as the 175. But now I can take my 257 and add three, and now I'm at 260. This really becomes mental math. I've used three out of my 175. And when they look at their number 260, they know now I'm only 40 away from my next 100, which is 300. So they, we can take our 172, and we can show that we're going to decompose that, and we want to have 40. We know that we'll have left 132. So now we can take our 260 and add the 40, and we are at 300. Nice, friendly number. And when we get to 800, or a multiple of 100, it's really easy to mentally add. So we have 300 plus 132, and now we know our answer is 432. So 257 plus 175 is 432. And this was all done pretty much by mental math and we just jot it to keep up with our record, with our reporting. So now we're gonna look at another problem using the Make 10 strategy. And again, we're, the, the math we're doing when we use the Make 10 strategy is basically mental math and we just jot our thinking to keep up with our number and where we are. So now we have 533 plus 279. Again, we want to make that friendly number. We're using that make 10 strategy. So we want to think, oh, 279 is only one away from, from 280. So we want to take the 533, we want to get one out of it. So we want to decompose 533 so we have a one. So then we know that the other part of 533 is 532. So 
So now we can take 279 plus 1, and we have 280. So we have used 1 from our 533. Now we have the number 280. We know now that we're only 20 away for our next 100. If we add 20 more, we'll be at 300. So we can decompose our 532 so that we can have 20. And then we'll know that there is 512 left. So students can jot down and keep up with their mental math. 280 plus the 20 more, I'm now at 300. And now all we have left is the 512, which becomes mental math. This 300 plus 512 is equal to 812. So we know that 533 plus 279 is equal to 812. Without any regrouping or borrowing, students are pretty much able to do mental math computation for a three-digit number plus a three-digit number by jotting down their thinking as they go.